Ukrainian general outlines how to act in Kharkiv to neutralize Russian occupiers. To reduce Russian shelling of the Kharkiv region, it is necessary to disable Russian modernized anti-aircraft missile systems. The situation may soon change for the better, according to Serhii Melnik, head of the Kharkiv garrison and Kharkiv defense forces. According to RBC Ukraine, he notes that the Russian occupiers have modernized the S-300 and S-400 systems and missiles for them, so their speed is twice as fast as the Ukrainian one. That is why, according to Melnik, the Ukrainian defense forces are unable to shoot down the targets in such a short period because the Ukrainian air defense system needs to enter combat mode and destroy the missile. But the maximum range of this missile in the Kharkiv region is about 110 kilometers. Unfortunately, artillery fire systems and multiple launch rocket systems do not reach the S-300 systems of the Russian Federation and it is almost impossible to hit them. He explains, the general notes that a comprehensive measure with aviation and Western multiple launch rocket systems, which have a longer range, is needed to solve this problem. He adds that Russian launch systems should be caught and destroyed at the time of preparation. The problem is not with the launches, the problem is with the radar locator. The illumination and guidance radar, the radar, the F-1 cockpit of the S-300, S-400 air defense missile system. Without this locator, no launcher will work. If this locator is destroyed, the system becomes inoperable, Melnik says. The general notes that the Ukrainian army has had experience with such locators. However, he predicts that the situation will change soon. I will tell you another thing. The turning point will be very soon. We will receive F-16 aircraft. There will be a comprehensive program to destroy these targets. And believe me, there will be results, the military says. Russians operating in the Kupiansk district of Kharkiv region. After the deoccupation, Russian troops have not given up trying to regain control of it. This is due to the strategically important logistical interchange. In addition, the Russian occupiers continue to shell Kharkiv and the region incessantly, destroying civilian and energy infrastructure. British Defence Minister ridicules Russia. It hides ships in ports, but they sink even there. Russia continues its large-scale military aggression against Ukraine and suffers significant losses. In particular, the Black Sea Fleet has lost its functional activity, states UK Defence Secretary Grant Shapps. This is how the British official reacted to defeat of two Russian large landing ships, Yamal and Ozov, by the Ukrainian Defence Forces in occupied Crimea. Putin's continued illegal occupation of Ukraine is exacting a massive cost on Russia's Black Sea Fleet, which is now functionally inactive. The British Defence Secretary said in a statement. He noted that the Russian fleet has been sailing the Black Sea since 1783, but now it is forced to constrain its fleet to a port. And even there, Putin's ships are sinking, Shaps concluded. On March the 24th, the Strategic Communications Directorate of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported that the Defence Forces had struck at Russian occupiers' facilities in Sevastopol. Two Russian landing ships and the communications centre were destroyed. Thus, the Ukrainian military attacked the large landing ships Yamal and Azov. They also hit the communication center of the Russian occupation forces and several infrastructure facilities of the Russian Black Sea Fleet in the temporarily occupied Sevastopol. There were explosions in the occupied Crimea, particularly in Sevastopol. The network wrote about the alleged work of air defense and the occupiers blocked the Crimean bridge. According to residents, a fire broke out in the Kozacha Bay in Sevastopol. OSINT analysts also noted that a large communication hub of the Russian Black Sea Fleet could have been hit in Sevastopol. On the night of March the 5th, a special unit of the Defense Intelligence Group 13 near the Kirsch Strait attacked the Black Sea Fleet patrol ship Sergei Kotov. As a result of the attack by Magura V-5 maritime drones, the ship was eliminated. This is the third Russian Black Sea Fleet vessel to sink in the last five weeks. Following a series of significant losses of Russian ships in the Black Sea, on March the 10th, Russian Navy Chief Admiral Nikolai Evmenov was dismissed and replaced by Northern Fleet Commander Admiral Alexander Moiseev. In February, Admiral Viktor Sokolov, the commander of the Black Sea Fleet, was dismissed due to losses. 
Ukraine announced new landings of Ukrainian military personnel in Crimea. The head of the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budinov, has announced new operations by the Ukrainian military in the temporarily occupied Crimea. In response to the journalists' question about whether there are any new landings being prepared in Crimea, Budinov replied affirmatively, yes, they are being prepared, and they will happen. Soon it will be warm, so we will continue. Crimea will be returned, emphasized the head of the main directorate of intelligence. Budinov stated that Russian occupiers do not abandon plans to once again seize the Ukrainian Zeminyi island, regularly launching missile and bomb attacks. They regularly carry out missile and bomb strikes. There has been information several times and we have seen its confirmation about conducting a similar operation as we once did. Budanov said, however, according to him, it is impossible to do so. But they couldn't do it because knocking out the garrison from the island is already unrealistic, emphasized the head of the main directorate of intelligence. The main directorate of intelligence fighters conducted several ground operations in the temporarily occupied Crimea. For example, on August the 24th, 2023, reconnaissance troops managed to carry out a sortie near the settlement of Mayak on the Tarkankut Cape. A battle took place within the framework of the main Directorate of Intelligence special operation involving naval assets and aviation. In turn, Russian sources began to invent their own version of the so-called Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups allegedly destroyed. In reality, at least 30 occupiers were destroyed and four high-speed boats were damaged as part of the special operation. Furthermore, on October the 4th, Ukrainian special forces again landed in the occupied Crimea and inflicted a fiery defeat on the Russian occupiers. It is noted that a fierce battle took place as part of this operation, resulting in significant losses among Russian soldiers.